Hello everyone, this is me Sadia here and I'm back with another reading which is going to be for whoever needs it. If there is something that you really wish to have in this month's time, you really want to know will you get that one wish of yours fulfilled this month, yes or no, then this reading is definitely going to help you find the answer to that. We will also take some uh, oracle guidance cards as well to give you additional guidance what can you do to have your wish fulfilled. So yeah, before I dive into the read, let me remind you it's a general reading, it may, it may not resonate with everyone out there, so always pick the messages which are resonating and leave the rest. For personal reads, you can always reach out to me on my email ID in the description box. You can also follow me on Instagram where I do upload daily readings. So if there is something that you really wish to achieve, have, um, you know, manifest in your life and you really want to know, will you be able to get that this month? Let's find out. <clears throat> Will you be able to get that wish fulfilled in this month time? Whenever you're checking this reading, it will give you the guidance around that month time. No matter even if you are checking it at the last date of the month as well, it will give you, a, a, you know, the situation. Uh, it will give you the cl clarity around the situation in that particular month only. So yeah, let's see. Will you get what you want in this month time? Let's find out. It can be anything like you know your wish around love work money finances family whatever it is let's see will you get it this month yes or no six of swords two of cups the wheel of fortune wow <clears throat> you have to be very strong around it like you know uh your dedication your uh commitment will be tested um it's it's more like you know the 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 situation seems to be pretty much depending on you. Like, you know, it's more like, you know, whatever you desire, you can definitely have it. If and only if you uh, stick to it, if and only if you don't let your fears stop you, if and only if you don't depend on other people around it. Like, you know, you have to take charge and lead the situation. That's how it is. Be that in love, work from that situation. Now, if you are, you know, asking this question about your love life, maybe your love life is being stuck because of your person and you are like, you're going to be like, you know, why, why she's saying that, you know, I have the charge in my hand when, when uh, the person that I'm dealing with is the one who is blocking my love life because they are not giving me the commitment. Now you have the charge, you can make things happen. How do you do that? By changing your internal story around the connection around the situation like you know for instance your person is not giving you commitment you need to start believing otherwise you need to start believing your person is giving you commitment they are ready to marry you they are ready to give you commitment they are ready to take you uh to your to their to their family and you know uh make you meet them so you have to make a uh, make a new story around the current situation and that's what you need to stick to in your in your mind um in your you know uh you have to start acting as if that has happened um you have to start believing that it can be possible as well like you know whatever the current circumstances are you have to ignore the current circumstances and set your intention high around it whatever it is that you want it's all under your control you can make it all happen and how do you do that by staying positive by not letting your fears stop you Set your intention and let the God that you believe in help you guide you through the right path forward. It's more like, you know, the moment you decide that this is what you want with clarity, with dedication, without fear, <clears throat> that's going to be the moment when you will start seeing some major shifts happening in your love life around that particular person and situation. Um, if there are people influencing your connection, again, once you change the inner story, things will change. Now, if you want to apply tools and techniques, you can use scripting to manipulate things in your favor or to make things work in your favor, you can use scripting for that. Um, if you believe your person is the one who, uh, who, uh, who is not ready to give you what you want, you can start making some affirmations around it, uh, which are exactly the opposite of what you are believing right now. For instance, your person is not ready to commit to you. Start using an affirmation which is exactly the opposite of it. What you desire should be your focus from now onwards, not what you don't desire. Now, I feel like, you know, as you start changing yourself around the current situation and you don't let the current circumstances make you confused or fearful around what's going to happen in the future. Will you ever come back together? Will you ever be with this person or not? Um, you know, whatever it is, whatever it is that your goal is when it comes to your, you know, current situation, you, you set your intention and you believe that, yes, you will get that. That's all you need to do. You don't have to let your fear stop you. You don't have to let your fear kind of, you know, sway you away from the right path. 
um, you have to have a strong belief that you are worthy of the love that you desire with your person. You have to believe that the universe, uh, the universe is going to help you to achieve your goal around this person, this situation. So the more you're going to feed your faith, the sooner you are going to see the results. But yes, I feel like, you know, there is a strong possibility of you getting your wish fulfilled, your wish granted in this month time, whenever you are checking it. But yes, you have to stay very positive. You have to stay dedicated towards it. No matter what happens in the current circumstances, you have to ignore that and you have to keep your faith intact. That's all you need to do to have what you desire. Uh, let's see the oracle messages now. Let's see what the oracle has to add to the read. Uh, will you get what you want in this month time? And if yes, what are the guidance for you? Take time to breathe out. Now, uh, it's very important for you to not stress around it. Like, you know, it's, it's more like, you know, do you know how to, uh, how to pray? Like, you know, once you have a prayer to make, once you make that prayer, once you have done that, once you have let your God know that this is what you desire, the moment you leave that prayer area, you have to have a strong faith that God has listened to it and God has, you know, um, sent the angels to start getting uh, to, you know, work things out to get you what you wanted. Now, if you start believing it that way, you will walk out of that prayer area thinking and believing that it has already happened. Why? Because it's more like when you place an order, be that in, at McDonald's, Pizza Hut, or wherever, wherever you are placing your order. Once you place your order, you don't, you don't, you don't get stressed. You don't get, uh, you know, will it come, will it not? It will come, you know. It, it might take time, but it will come. So you have a strong faith that it will come. You never doubt that. How can you doubt your prayer then? You know, it's one and the same thing. It's more like, you know, you, you believe that they will not, uh, you know, um, they will not ignore your order. But when it comes to God, you believe that maybe your order will be getting, like, you know, ignored by God. In actuality, it's more like your limited belief around it, which is stopping you to have what you want. So once the prayer is made, walk out of it as if it has already been listened by the heavens and they are working towards getting you what you want. Now, whatever happens in the process, you have to stay positive around it. Even if you pick up a fight with your person and you feel like, oh my God, I, I, I prayed for this and now we are fighting. You have no idea whether, you know, as an outcome to that fight, maybe your person is going to realize your worth more. Maybe, you know, when you stop talking to each other, your person missed you even more. So they realize that they love you and it was not just like any other connection for them. So you don't know what the God's plan is. So try to have faith around it. And try to relax yourself and don't get upset with the delays. If you feel like, you know, there are certain delays, they must be there for some, um, uh, you know, to, to bring you what you have asked for. Maybe your God is basically, you know, pr uh, processing your order there. So just relax around it. Let's see one more oracle card. Let's see what it has to add. Broken arrow, embrace the energy of peace. Now, again, the same message, you have to stay peaceful while you wait. Whatever it is that you want, it will come. Just relax around it. Don't um get upset like you know especially when you're checking the dates and time oh my god it's like already 10 days gone and it has not happened no don't do that start living as if it, it has already happened how would you feel you would feel relaxed calm at peace and that's what you need to do while you wait while you wait on the on your manifestation to come through on the result that you desire to come through make sure you keep yourself positive keep yourself busy do the things that's going to keep your focus off that thing what you have asked for so you stay very happy and you know busy and uh, when it comes it comes like a surprise to you because you would not be like you know waiting sitting and doing nothing at all uh feeling bad when is it going to happen when is this person going to do this and that stop doing all those things that you might have been doing earlier waiting on for this person waiting on for the commitment waiting on for this job waiting on for whatever it is that you're waiting for you will get it once you have allowed it to come to you. Once you have stopped thinking heavily around it. Once you have embraced the feeling of peace as if it has already happened. And, you know, just, just try to relax yourself around it. And that's going to be the moment when you're going to receive it. So, yeah, that's pretty much it coming up for you for this reading. If the reading helped you to know what you wanted to know with this read, do like, share, and subscribe if you're willing to get a personal read. You can always reach out to me for that on my email ID in the description box. Till I do the next reading for you guys. Take care. Bye.